Hi everyone, welcome to the Art of 3D Experience. I'm Frank and today I've got another quick tip for you and that is regarding selecting polygons randomly. So let's say you wanted to um, select part of this um, geodesic dome um, randomly. So let's say if I wanted to select some of these rectangles, some of these triangles, sorry, and I wanted to turn them into see-through um, material like glass so how would I go about selecting some of these um, polygons randomly so the usual way of doing this would be to go to my um, polygon selection and I'll just go and randomly select the polygons that I want to affect but then you can see how that could take me ages to do so the best way of doing this is to select part of your object at random just like that maybe a little bit more and I'm going to apply a material to this polygon so I'm going to create a new material I might color it blue just to indicate that it's glass and I'm going to right click on it and apply to my polygons so now I've got a few polygons selected on my uh, geodesic dome and they have been tagged with the material so I've got my selection and I've got my material attached to my selection so now how do I select some of these polygons randomly on this dome what you need to do is go to your selection tag select it and down here you see you've got an option called use field so I'm going to enable use field then down here in your field I'm going to add a random field so once I add my random field you can see that it's already started to give me a random selection on my dome so to refine this I'm going to change this blending mode from max to normal and that's a little bit more it's a bit better now it's a bit less uh, blocky and um, down here I can adjust my settings um, I can adjust the remapping I can adjust the strength so you have less selections or more selections I can also adjust the minimum or maximum just to clamp it like so I think that's pretty good and um, that's it that's how you affect your object if you wanted to select random polygons on an object quickly without having to go in and do it manually this is how you do it by using fields and I hope this uh, video has been useful to you and um, I will see you in the next video